Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Concorde L from our Smart Air TC collection. It's a large tunnel design tent that can sleep up to six people. It has bedrooms at the back, a large sealed living area at the front and then this extended canopy, all of which we'll show you in detail shortly. So I mentioned there it's from our Smart Air TC collection. The TC stands for technical cotton and that's because we're using our Outex AirTech fly sheet on here. So for me the most important thing about this uh, material is that it's very, very long lasting and it's not going to degrade anywhere near as quickly with UV degradation as standard polyester because what we have here is a 65% cotton and 35% polyester. That also makes it very breathable. So on a warm day, you're going to be kept a little bit cooler inside the tent and vice versa. On a cold day, you'll actually stay a little bit warmer inside the tent too because this material will react to the environment that it's in. It's also naturally waterproof, although we do put a coating on here just to allow the water to bead off of the tent from new. So in place of the traditional steel or fiberglass poles that you would find on a tent like this, what we're actually using in, that, in its place is an inflatable frame from front to back. More detail of that is that we're using our one go inflation technology. So what that allows us to do is from one single plug in point for the pump is to inflate this whole thing in one go within a matter of minutes. And I'll just show you now how that works. So as I mentioned there, we have the one single inflation point on the tent. And it's quite clearly marked on this beam here. It says air in. So just underneath here is where you'll find the valve. And it is just a, a one-way valve. So when I open this up, um, it's not going to sort of let any air out. So all we have to do is just plug the pump in here. And when we start to inflate the tent, as I mentioned earlier, the whole thing will rise up in one uh, single go because all of these beams are interconnected on the inside. Just underneath that is where we have the air out valve. Now there is one of these on each beam for the tent and it's really simple to operate. All we have to do is simply twist around this uh, valve here and that will allow the tent to deflate and you'll find that that's really quick and easy to do. And then all you have to do is obviously roll it up and pop it in the bag. So we do supply the pump with the tent and it's like this one here. It's a double action pump. So when you pull the handle up and push the handle down, you are actually inflating the tent. On top of the pump, you'll find that we have this pressure gauge, which just allows you to keep an eye on the, uh, the pressure that you're inflating the beams to. So we would recommend inflating this between 8.7 and 11.6 PSI, which represents 0.6 to 0.8 bar. So what that means is we're actually putting a lot of air into these uh, beams at a high pressure. So obviously, the more air and the higher pressure in these beams, the more solid they are, and therefore, the more stable the tent is as well. We have actually tested this tent to withstand a minimum of a force nine on the Beaufort scale, so you can be safe in the knowledge that it is going to be nice and stable even in high wind conditions. So we're using our floating guy lines all the way around the tent here, and what that gives you is a guy line that has two separate parts to it. At the top is uh, a colour-coded uh, guy line that matches the colour of the tent, and at the bottom is our luminous guy line, so hopefully that should stop you tripping over these um, when it's a little bit darker. You will find that each of the guy lines has its own retainer, so when it comes to packing the tent down, we can wrap the guy lines up and just pop them into these loops so that the next time you come to use the tent, the guy lines are easily accessible. One thing here is that they are all pre-attached, so that's something you don't need to worry about doing. We also supply you with our easy pegging system on this tent, and that's where we have three different styles of pegs. Um, so we have the solid steel pegs here, which would be for the corners of the tent, and they would go into the grey pegging points. We then have the black plastic pegs, which would be for all of the black pegging points. And we have the luminous peg here, which would go into the luminous guy line. So it just makes it nice and easy to make sure that you're getting the right peg in the right place. Uh, some other features to highlight would be um, the ventilation panels that, that we have just here. And there's more on the other side and at the back of the tent as well. So you can see just under here, there is a mesh panel, which is going to allow cool, fresh air into the tent, keeping you a little bit more comfortable. If it does get a little bit too cold, you can simply take these away by removing the Velcro tabs and then pushing down on the outside panel like that. We have plenty of large windows all the way around the tent as well. Um, now these are actually tinted, uh, so that serves two key functions. One is to reflect some of the sun rays away from the inside of the tent, keeping you a bit more comfortable. And secondly, you're going to get a lot more privacy in the tent as well. Something else I want to highlight out here is our rain safe entrance on the side. So this just gives you a good sheltered area uh, over this side entrance. If you do want to be using this when it's a little bit more wet, 
And that is just created using one of our Duratec fiberglass poles, which just easily goes into this pole sleeve and then into the attachment points on the side. So at the front of the tent, we have a large canopy, which comes with the tent, of course. Uh, it's very easy to attach. It zips onto the front here, and then we have the steel pole at the front, which obviously creates the canopy itself. Attached to the front of these then, we have these good quality uh, storm straps here as well. So it is nice and stable in the higher wind conditions as well. So this is going to be ideal if you're lucky enough for it to be a nice sunny day. It's going to give you um, a good sort of shaded area from midday sun. Or of course, if it's also a little bit wet and drizzly, then you're going to get great coverage at the front of the tent here as well. So if I just come round to the front door, it's, uh, it's a good sized front door, it's nice and wide. Uh, and that's obviously going to let you get all of your kit in and out of here nice and easily. It's also a full walk-in height. I'm quite tall and I can walk in and out of here no problem at all without having to sort of duck right down. Uh, the door itself is a D-door style, so it doesn't roll up the way. It rolls to the side, as you can see here. And it does have a large tinted window on it as well. So when you're in here and the front door is closed, you still have full views for the tent. The ground sheet at the bottom here does have a zip along here, so you've got a good option of either flattening it, uh, flattening it down like we have done here, and you can see there's a couple of pegging points at the side to do that. Or, of course, when the door is zipped across, then we can simply just raise this up and zip it to the door to create a fully sealed front entrance. So stepping back into the tent itself, it is a really good sized living area in here. I mean, we have quite a lot of furniture with tables and chairs and storage units and things like that yet there is still plenty of space around us. I think that's accentuated by the large windows that we mentioned earlier on, of course, which allow a lot of light into the tent. If you don't want quite as much light though, what you will find is that each window has its own curtain. So when it comes to um, wanting a little bit more privacy or a little bit more shade, uh, you will find that each of these windows has its own curtain at the bottom here. And these are just zipped curtains, so you can bring these up to wherever you want in terms of allowing light into the tent or of course uh, having full privacy if needs be. At the top of the window is where we have our ventilation panel that we pointed out from the outside and that corresponds to that panel. So I mentioned the one go inflation technology earlier on where all the beams are interconnected and I just want to highlight this inside the tent here so you can see that these two beams are connected with this piece of piping and the valve in the middle actually allows you to separate these two beams because we have this shut off valve here. So that's great because in the unlikely event of something going wrong, what that means is a whole tent won't deflate because each beam is then separate. So it would just be one single beam that would be affected. Just while I'm up here, I'll highlight that we have a lantern hanging point in a good central location of the tent. And then leading away from that, coming down to the bottom of the tent, we have a cable entry point, which you can see we have in use at the moment. So this just allows you to run any cables or electricity into the tent um, without having to have the door zipped closed. Now, just while I'm mentioning the door, there is one on either side of the tent, and each one of these doors has a full mesh door that can be zipped into place. So what that allows for is great ventilation, but obviously, hopefully, that's going to keep out those unwanted bugs as well. Of course, there is a waterproof door on the outside as well, but just to highlight that both of these doors have full mesh doors on them. The, uh, the ground sheet that we're using in here from front to back and side to side is fully sealed. Now, that's got a few advantages, one of which would be, of course, that you're not going to be getting any drafts in at the side because it is a bathtub style ground sheet. So you can see it's coming up at the edges here. So like I say, you're not going to get any drafts coming in underneath the tent. You'll keep out things like dirt, dust and sand. And again, hopefully, more importantly, those creepy crawlies won't get in either. Of course, it is a completely waterproof ground sheet as well. Um, although there is uh, a couple of optional extras that we can talk you through to give you even more protection uh, later on. So the bedrooms are at the back, as I mentioned, and the tent can sleep up to six people. Um, and a really nice feature here is that these bedrooms come pre-attached. So that's a job that you don't need to worry about. They're already done for you, even the first time you come to pitch the tent. And the way that we attach these bedrooms to the tent is using our wave shaped hanging point system, which has got uh, room for adjustment if needs be. Uh, and you can see here that what it does is it gives a nice bit of design to the top of the bedrooms, but actually it has a function as well because it takes any stress points off of the seam at the top of the bedrooms here. We then have handy storage pockets on the outside of the bedrooms. The bedroom doors have mesh panelling on them as well, and you can see that there is a curtain behind here. That's what a striped piece of material is. But obviously, we can open that up to get a little bit more ventilation. 
Inside, we have a large ventilation panel at the back, which corresponds to a panel on the outside fly sheet. All the way along the edge of the bedroom, we have these handy storage pockets as well, which are great for smaller personal possessions. And I just also want to highlight that the two bedrooms are separated with a full zipped sheet. So that pretty much gives you about as much privacy as you're going to be able to get within a tent. But of course, that also means that you can open this bedroom up to create one large bedroom if you want. Another nice feature here is you'll see that we have these zips on the uh, inner tent here. And we'll now just show you how these work using our universal inner system. <laughs> So here you can see we also supply a handy storage mesh basket here. Now this doesn't have to be used because it quite simply clips into position at the top and then is adjustable in height as well. So we have a few optional extras available for you to choose from for the Concorde L. There are two different styles of carpet for the living area here giving you a bit more comfort underfoot. So there's a three layer insulated version and there's a fleece version that you can see here. As I mentioned before, there's a footprint available that can go underneath the ground sheet, giving you a little bit more protection. And the nice thing there is when you pitch the tent on top of that, what you will find is when you take the tent down, of course, this ground sheet is going to be clean and dry. We also have a front extension available for the tent if you want that sort of extra uh, space on the outside, and that would just replace this canopy. And we also have a front awning available for the tent as well. So that's all the features of the Concorde L from our Smart Air TC collection. Thank you very much for watching.